is my best way up, Seb. Okay, let me just... All right, guys, we have managed to find Hosanna. We're super excited. He's been walking on the road, and now, of course, as the gremlins go away, Hosanna goes into into the bush. So we're going to try and follow him around here. I'm not too sure how we're going to get up there, though. I think I'm going to have to even go further behind, but he's walking very slowly now. It is quite interesting because the guys found another male leopard, another big one. Um roughly in the direction where Hassan is headed off to. So we wonder if that is Mbula or if it's perhaps Tingana. I'm not too sure, but interesting. We went from zero to hero with leopards this morning. All right. I'm going to try and... Seb, are you sure? Okay. All right. Good old Wendy. And it was funny because Seb and I were driving at one point and we were like, oh, there are male leopard tracks here and it smells like leopard quite a bit. Ooh. There it is. All right. We're going to try and keep up, but we're going to send you across to Taylor to have another look at Tamba. We do have visuals of Tamba. He's sitting in the long grass, but his, his meals have disappeared up onto the top of the road where we were sitting. But look, he's moving now. Perhaps this will be a better opportunity for him. Though I believe at one point, William, who is Aubrey's tracker, was telling me that he was about two meters away from the big Inyala bull. But I think he might have been a bit scared. <laughs> and I had the car, because we were parked up on the side of a slope. <laughs> today is the day that I wish that I had a door so I wouldn't keep falling out, or a safety belt to keep myself <laughs> clued in. But he's keen, though. Now, the antelope's still a little bit too far away for it to be successful because by the time he takes two steps, Nyana probably would have run up the bank. He needs to be much closer than that if he wants to have a good chance of catching it. I'm also trying to talk a bit softer because I don't want to annoy everyone else in the sighting. <laughs> We're all sitting on top of each other. But we'll stay here for a bit longer and watch this very exciting sighting unfold but let's go across to the other leopard on the property Hosanna okay Gabi we are now on the eastern side of the road but keep coming sorry guys I just have to update Mike who's been trying to come and have a look but it does seem to be Hosanna and he's steadily moving. He was busy stalking birds earlier on, so I think he's... He doesn't seem to be too skinny, to be honest. I think he looks just fine, but clearly still looking for for a bite to eat. And like we said, there are reports of another male leopard, a fully grown one. We don't know if Tingana or Mbula, and they haven't given us an ID. But it's roughly in the general direction where Hosanna is headed off to. So I wonder if perhaps he's going to investigate. I don't even know how to get around here. Here, Salt, you're wondering what a leopard's territory smells like. Well, the territory itself doesn't smell like anything, but when they send Mark, which Hosanna's not doing yet because he's not a grown, uh, fully grown male leopard yet, when they send Mark, their territory smells like popcorn, pretty much. I know it sounds very odd, but that is very much what it sounds like smells like okay I have kind of lost his visual so can other oh, he is all right I'm just gonna have to get around some of this trees good job Wendy good job all right there, there he is Whew. now I'm getting super warm Ah, all right. We've just got an update from the other guys. This is Mbula that's on the other side. All right. Um, we're going to keep up with Hosanna, see what he gets up to, but let's go across to Taylor. Well, happy to hear that you guys are on the trail of a leopard on the move. Villa. All right, we have been able to keep up with him now. It's a bit of a puzzle what he's got behind this log. 
because it's um it's a bit of a tricky spot for us actually more than what it is for the small male leopard but I wonder what it is and it seems like the other leopard as I was saying earlier in case I wasn't clear enough and Bula is not too far from here and Hosanna is slowly m moving in that direction but it seems like Mbula has managed to catch himself a porcupine so hopefully Mbula will be there for this afternoon are you turning sides there Hosanna? we can just see your head picking up through all right let me just go back so that we can actually see what he's doing i think he's just smelling something and i wonder if there hasn't been another leopard around here perhaps this is where Mvula walked through or maybe there's something in there that he's trying to dig out because we've seen him stock so many little things already he was looking for squirrels and then earlier on we were so certain that he had cut himself a dwarf mongoose mongoose but then that wasn't really the case and he carried on so i wonder if maybe there isn't a squirrel or something else in there that he's waiting for hmm it's a bit of a tricky spot no not interested okay he's carried on so so will we beautiful it's incredible to think how much he's been walking yesterday morning we saw him at little gallery in the afternoon he wasn't too far and then today he's pretty much on the most northern corner of juma Ooh, so it's quite a distance even for him All right. Ooh, sorry guys i've just got to use my radio standing by Mike, standing by for you. What? That's not an update. Are you on Impala Plains yet? Copy. We're just north of Impala Plain. Sorry, just east. So you should be able to get my audio at least if you just switch off at Impala Plains on Weyatilla Axis. Not too far from Sandy Patch itself. I think. It seems like Taylor is on the lookout for something else, so let's go over to her while we try to find Hosanna once more. Well, Tumba missed his opportunity, then Yala left him in the long grass. They've carried on with their day. I think he realized that he hasn't quite got the hunting techniques that he needs to take on such a large animal. But a good experience nonetheless. He definitely would have learned quite a bit uh, from that entire sighting about patience, about what you should be hunting when you're that size versus what you'd like to be hunting. Um, however, we are racing off. Apparently Mvula has been found and he's eating a porcupine. How cool would that be? So 